the British people, a majority of the British people, have turned their backs on the European Union. So for the Brexit parties to do that in a very symbolic way, while the national anthem, pseudo-national anthem, is being played, makes perfect sense. And lots of people will agree with what they've done. When... I think the hysteria over this has been completely and utterly nuts. Uh, the fact is that it's a perfectly legitimate form of protest to turn your back when a national anthem or a pseudo-national anthem, in the case of the European Union, which, as Nigel Farage pointed out, is not a nation, that's a perfectly legitimate form of protest. The, the, everyone is going so crazy about the Brexit Party making this protest uh, and ignoring the fact that 17.4 million Britons have already turned their back <laughs> on the European Union by voting against it. I'm one of them. So it makes perfect sense to us that... The the Brexit Party would physically turn its back on the European Union's pseudo-national anthem, which is one of the mo most wonderful pieces of music ever written, Beethoven's Ode to Joy, which has been co-opted by the European Union to justify their technocratic, bureaucratic, anti-democratic, illiberal regime. So there is a lot it to be uh, said in favour of this protest.